Well, I'm actually coming to you with a bit of breaking news and it's actually something I didn't anticipate happening quite so soon. And that is that hardware four, although we saw it show up in the S and the X has not yet come to the Y and three. That is until today. So we are finally getting our first look at Tesla Model Ys and presumably Model 3s that are getting hardware for in deliveries. Now I do want to start by saying that there are multiple sources that are showing this information is real and including pictures of cars, but we only see evidence on a Model Y and we have yet to see a Model 3 with hardware 4. So let's dive into those details and show you what we're talking about and why this is or is it important? First up, we have these awesome pictures from Ryan at the Kilowatts and Zach from Black Model 3 on these new Model Ys. They're at two different locations, both in California, that have Model Ys with Hardware 4 on them. So to be able to tell the difference, what you do as these pictures show, you look at the outside cameras and you can tell pretty clearly if it's Hardware 4 or if it's Hardware 3, which is what we've had for quite some time. In the kilowatts pictures, we have these blue, a white, and a black Model Y. No specific trim level. What's interesting is we can see very clearly that they have the new side marker cameras, which is part of the hardware 4 package. And Zach over at Black Model 3, he was able to get a picture of a Model Y performance and a Model Y all-wheel drive. Now, I'm not clear if he meant all-wheel drive as in the Giga Austin one or if he meant the long range all wheel drive, but there is source code to suggest that we did see a Giga Austin made Tesla Model Y that does have hardware 4 as well. So hardware 4 is definitely here for the Model Y. It has not yet been seen on a car for a Model 3 yet, but it should be in line with the Model Y. So even if there's a slight delay of a rollout, expect to see the Model 3 any day with hardware 4 as well. Now the big question. How do you find out if your car has hardware 4? Well, you're going to have to see it in person if you already have it on order. If you're trying to take delivery and you want to find out if a car that's in inventory has hardware 4, let me show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Tesla Info's website. I love this website. I use it all the time for looking up information on inventory across the US. So you're going to need to make some filters here. So first you're gonna filter this by new and then you're going to select your state and then whatever model it is you're interested in. So this is going to show you the whole list of those cars. And when you open up the details on each of the ones listed, it'll show you right here, hardware three. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to move over to a Model X so you can see what that looks like when it says Hardware 4. So literally where it says Hardware 3, it just says Hardware 4. Now this is using some back end code to read the information on the car to tell if it does or does not have Hardware 4. This is how I got my Model X. There were only a handful of Hardware 4 Model Xs at the time and I definitely wanted to make sure I had Hardware 4 when I took delivery of that car. So. That is how I ultimately ended up finding the Model X that we purchased with Hardware 4. What you're going to see right now, at least at the time of filming, there are no Model 3s or Model Ys with Hardware 4 in inventory. Now we have pictures, how is that? Well, that would mean that they're either assigned or they're out of inventory, not yet determined what's gonna happen with them. Most likely though, they're assigned to a customer order. So an inventory car, that is going to be one that's not assigned to an order and can be available for purchase. So if you're very interested in hardware for and you want to get this this quarter, just keep looking on Tesla Info's website, keep refreshing and check out your local inventory until one pops up that's got hardware for in it. So why does this even matter? Why do you want hardware for? What's wrong with hardware three? Well, it's kind of a complicated question because we don't have a real rollout of all the features that hardware 4 is supposed to bring. So the biggest thing up front on the face that you will notice with hardware 4 versus hardware 3 is the cameras. Now there's additional cameras potentially based on the board of the car. So there are 11 slots for cameras plus a 12th one for a spare, at least as it's written on the board. And we've only been able to see cars with eight cameras in place. So there's presumably up to three additional cameras that could be added at a later date. One of those cameras potentially is the third slot, which is a dummy camera in the top of the autopilot cameras in the front of the car. Now I took some really good night video of these cameras in action 
just a week ago on my road trip back from Giga Austin. As you can see, there is tremendously more detail here. In addition, there's a lot less oranging that's going on because of reflections. This thing is definitely a much crisper, cleaner, and clearer image on the screen. Hardware 3 is essentially maxed out with what it's capable of doing. There's still some software tweaking, but they cannot add any more capability on the board itself for Hardware 3. That is why they developed Hardware 4. In addition, the most exciting enhancement that this brings is HD radar. Now, Tesla previously rolled out vision only. They got rid of the radar in the front of the car and Elon Musk touted that vision only is better than radar. And then he followed that up with, that is unless ultra high definition radar is available, that would be better than vision. Well, Tesla did indeed patent an HD radar and that is a part of the hardware for package. This radar, although it's not known exactly how it's going to work with full self-driving, what it's going to do versus the cameras, it is very nice to see this thing come back because it gives you a lot more specific, a lot more detailed, a lot more particular information on distances and things like that. But time will tell. We don't really know how well this works. It's not activated on cars to our knowledge. And all these enhancements, they're not fully utilized yet. So those enhancements will be coming as software gets improved over time and they start to unlock new capabilities. The next question you might have, is there a retro available for this? Can I put hardware four in my hardware three car? And the answer is no. Actually, Elon Musk did address this question specifically during an earnings call, and he said it would be cost prohibitive to make the upgrade, which is understandable. You'd be replacing the computer, you'd be replacing all the cameras, including the housings, running wires, so that would be definitely cost prohibitive. This will not be able to be upgraded to Hardware 4. But he also said he believes that Hardware 3 is capable of being good enough. So being able to be good enough for full self-driving, that is a matter of opinion, I would assume, but they're going to be able to prove that it's still safer than a human driver, I'm sure. But Hardware 4 is going to be a next level. It's going to have more capability than Hardware 3. So when we look at the inventory out there, it's no surprise. The Model 3s have been on discount for a few weeks now. Does this mean we should anticipate more discounts? Well, I think it really depends on if we start to see Hardware 4 in Model 3s in just a couple of days. Then for sure, we know everything's transitioning to Hardware 4 at this time. And all the Hardware 3 vehicles are going to be harder to sell. We're probably going to see some new discounts available on the Model Y, on the Model 3, but there's only so many Model Ys available across the U.S. So depending on how many people actually know about this, it's a really important factor in this. How many people are going to accept whatever car they get, not understanding that Hardware 4 is being shipped at the same time. So let me know in the comments, do you have a recent order? Do you have a delivery coming up? And do you have Hardware 3? What are your feelings about this? Does this make you want to order a new Tesla? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time.